I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. All right, now let's paint some antlers with some flowers. So let's start out by grabbing a huge brush and dry it off. And you can use whatever color background you want. I'm going to do some like a pretty plum purple kind of color. But just grab a bunch of paint and we're just going to throw a layer on the whole canvas. And it doesn't matter like which way your brush strokes go because we can come back and thicken it up around the antlers and flowers. Once you get a good thin layer on the whole thing, then you can just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And now we'll let it dry for just a sec. So just wipe off your extra paint and chunk that one in the water. So now we have a layer on our background. So let's get a layer on our antlers. So let's grab like a number six size brush and dry it off. And we're going to start with like some tans. And we're just going to hop down here towards the bottom center. Just hop up, a, hop up just a little bit from the bottom center. And we're going to throw a little line that curves. Out to the right. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side. Jump up a little bit from the bottom and we're going to throw So we have us a good little start to our rack. And you can make them identical. I know some people like it that way because I think, you know, they're, if you want them identical, or I like to make like mine a little bit different. So a little mix matched, less perfect. But we'll go ahead and kind of throw a point on both edge. And you can switch out to like a smaller size brush too to get the better points if you need to. And then let's go ahead and add the rough part right down here. So the bumpy little edge. So just kind of load your brush and we're just going to bump it. And you just want your horns to be a little bit thicker, your antlers a little bit thicker down here towards that bumpy part. And let's switch out now to like a four. So wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. Let's grab a little bit smaller brush just to help us draw. It's like a number four and dry it off. And we'll use those same lighter colors. And let's go ahead now and throw us an antler 
that leans in towards the middle. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll go ahead and throw one that leans in towards the middle. But like I said, you can make them even, you can make them a little bit different. I think it looks good to have them a little different, but it's kind of a personal preference. I know in nature, the girl always wants the guy with the more, you know, symmetrical antlers, so. And then once you have both of those whoops, I'll just kind of leave it skinny through the end. And then just, you want to thicken it up towards the antler. And I'm going to throw like a, maybe another little antler off the top of this one. But whenever you're throwing them, load your brush with a lot of paint and then just be real light with it. And that's how you'll get So we have a couple antlers. Now let's go ahead and maybe throw like another little spike coming from down here. So I'm just gonna kind of curve it in. But like I said, if you want like a ton of points, mine was just more realistic. <laughs> you can throw as many or as few as you want and let's go ahead and have another one coming off of this one over here so a little bit thicker towards our antler and then I'm gonna have it come up a little bit higher Then we'll thicken this up a little bit right there because you just want it thicker towards the bottom and then it gets a little thinner as it goes up top. I think we have a good start to the one on the right. So let's go ahead now. Let's add maybe like a little part of one coming up here. Might have it go into two little points. And we're just throwing this all on with some tan and off-white at first. And then we'll come back with some dark to add some low lights. You just want to make sure you have some streaks. And then we'll just curve it right here where this little part goes into that part. And let's throw like another little point that comes up a little bit higher.
So now we got a good layer through most of our antlers. Now's just kind of where you want to look at them and you want to make sure they're thicker towards the bottom and then it get, kind of gets thinner towards your points at the top. I'm probably going to thicken this up just a little bit more right there. But I think that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and rinse it out in the water. And let's grab a little bit bigger brush again. So let's grab a number six and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some darker pink. So a few darker pinks. And we're gonna start by throwing us a big flower kind of right here on top of our antler. So just load your brush with a lot of paint. And then once you have that, then we'll just kind of fill it in with a quick layer. And then we'll go ahead and use kind of that same color and skip right down here to the bottom left and we'll throw another smaller flower, so like the size of a ping pong ball. And then we'll just wipe off our extra and I'll grab some really light pink and we're gonna throw a tiny little flower right here. You could even grab like a little bit of flamingo pink with that light pink so it won't get too light on you. Throw a little flower down here and then we'll throw a little bit bigger flower right there above it. So like a little bit bigger than a golf ball. But you can do like whatever, you know, you can throw more flowers if you want more flowers. I was just gonna have a few right here at the base of our antlers. And then once we have that, let's go ahead and wipe off our extra. And let's grab a little bit of the light blue, like a really light blue. And right up here at the top, I'm gonna to throw a bumpy little whoop for a part of a flower up there. And then I'm just gonna wipe that one off and grab a little bit of red, some like red and dark pink. And now I'm gonna throw like a little part of a flower over here too. I might even have it over, overlap my antler just a tiny bit. And that'll get us a good start to our flowers. At least we have a little base layer on there. I might go ahead and add a little bit of red with the pink on this big one. Just so I get it a little bit darker. So that's a good base layer on our flowers. So now let's wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a number six size brush again and dry it off. And now we're gonna throw a few darks in through our antlers. So let's grab like some dark brown and dark gray. And right down here where we have a bumpy little part, we're gonna throw just a few little lines. And don't worry if these get too like thick or perfect because we can come back and make them look less perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of dark towards the bottom. So I'll kind of start it towards the bottom and then it can kind of curve the underside of our antler. And if your antlers are already kind of thick, just do this like right on top of what you already have. So that way we won't make them any thicker. But we're just throwing a little bit of dark. Can throw a few little light lines.
just kind of towards the bottom in a few places. All right, now we got a little bit of dark going on there, so we'll let that dry for just a sec. But now let's just grab a number six size brush again and dry it off. And let's grab a little bit lighter, so like still the tan, but I would grab a little bit of off-white with it. And let's throw a few light streaks in through our antlers. You just wanna make sure So like up towards the top. I might switch out to a little bit smaller brush here in a second and do this too. Just so we have a few light streaks. switch out to a tinier one to get streakier in a second but like down here through our bumpy parts we'll just bump a little bit of light and anywhere where you got thick with your dark just kind of bump some in there but now we'll just let that dry for a sec and come back to it and streak it up at somewhere so we'll just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and let's grab a little bit smaller size brush and let's use some lighter pinks, number four and some lighter pink. And now through our big flower, let's just kind of start out smaller and we're gonna do kind of like a loose spiral. And don't worry if you get too thick with this, you can always come back and wiggle with the dark. We're just kind of getting a first little start on there. So anywhere where you got heavy with it, you can come back and throw a little bit of dark. But we'll do the same thing through this other little flower over here. Throw some tiny little wiggles and then take it all the way out to the edge. Kind of like a messy little spiral, like a little cinnamon bun. And then we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and let's grab some more light pink and white. You could even grab a little bit more white this time. And we'll skip up to our big flower up here at the top left. And we're gonna add some messy little spiral. So just load your brush with a lot of paint. And you just wanna be real light with it. And once again, if you get a little heavy, just grab more of the pinks and we'll go back in and throw just a few wiggles with the pink anywhere where you got a little heavy. And we'll do the same thing through this little one. And then we'll just wipe that one off and let's grab a little bit of yellow a little bit of yellow. You can even grab a little bit of yellow with that red and pink. And we're gonna throw a little bit of a bumpy wiggle through that little one. just kind of wipe that one off. 
Let's grab a little bit more yellow. And let's throw a few little light yellow little wiggles kind of through the middle of this big light one up here. And then we can grab a little bit of limey slimy green and throw a little dab of that through the middle of this little one. And then let's go ahead and wipe that one off and rinse it out in the water and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some bright white and skip up to our little blue one and we're gonna do just some little, like little dashes that kind of point up and they can even hang off that top edge of the blue one. But just skip all through your little blue flower and through like little white dashes. So make sure you have some that kind of hang off the edge. All right, now we have our spiky little flower. So let's wipe that one off and let's grab the same size brush. So like a number four is good and dry it off and grab some dark green. It's like a hunter green. And now we're going to throw a few little leaves. So I'm going to maybe throw a little leaf up here. And whenever you're throwing the leaves, load your brush with a lot of paint and then just be real light with it. So you want them kind of like thicker on one side and then it gets thinner as it comes out. But you can do like more or less than me. I'm just kind of filling in a few places. I'm gonna throw a couple down here at the bottom. And then we'll let that dry for a second and we'll come back and throw some light, light green on those leaves too. So go ahead and wipe that one off and dry it off. So I would use like that same size brush, like a number four and dry it off. And now we're gonna add some more darks and lights to our antlers, get them looking a little bit better. So grab some more dark brown with dark gray, maybe even a tiny bit of black. And we're gonna throw, like kind of thicken up our dark towards the bottom of our antlers on both sides. So we just wanna make sure we get some darks and lights. So now we have a good start to that. So let's wipe off our extra and let's grab some gray with some caramel. And we're gonna throw a few more kind of medium tones just in a few places. And whenever you're throwing this in there, don't worry if you get too heavy with it. When you're doing stuff like this, the more paint you put, the better. And then we can kind of just blend it. So you wanna have a bunch of paint on there, makes it easier to blend. But I'm kinda of using the caramel and tan. And you just kinda of want it to all blend together. Grab a little bit more gray and throw us a little bit more gray in a few places. Maybe a little bit more gray on the edges. So this is where you just kind of play around 
And you just want to make sure you have some lights and darks, like up here might throw a little bit more dark. Now we'll skip back in. And anywhere you need to tone it down, just the tan and off-white, a little bit of caramel. Maybe we'll throw a little bit more light in through our little bumpy parts. A little bit more bumps. Let's see, making sure we have. Whenever you're doing these streaks, kind of do some long streaks. That's what's going to make it look good. We're getting it good and streaky. Then you can kind of, if you need to fix your little points, you can do that with some tan and off white, or you can either come back with your background color too, and you can trim them up. But just to get your little points a little bit better. I think our points are pretty good though. We don't need to trim too much. All right, let's let that dry for a second because we got a good little layer. Got some darks and lights. dry so let's wipe that one off and grab some lime green with some dark green so the two greens together and now through all of our little leaves we're just going to add a little bit of light to like one side of all of our little leaves So we got a good layer on our leaves. Let's wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. Let's let it dry for just a sec. So we'll just use a teeny tiny brush like a number one and dry it off. And now we have the antlers with the flowers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.